Hey guys, get your own room. Yeah, the musk turtle is growing. I see all the marks. That's fantastic. Oh, looks like the hatching has begun. We gotta make a video on that soon. Welcome back, Shell Squad. We've got a very interesting video for you today. We got a new package uh, from a fellow breeder, and um, it's a new project that I'm gonna be working on. So for this video, I got a quick setup made. Um, if you saw my previous videos, this is the leftover material I had that I used to um, just kind of show what a baby enclosure is gonna look like. Now you're gonna see it in progress. Check it out. Um, right here, I got the package. I pre-opened it. Everything looks good, so there's not gonna be any like horror story for any of you guys that haven't. Let's switch over to the first person point of view. All right, as you can see, the tank I'm using has uh, some something to create some disturbance in the water. I will be putting some kind of filtration ma uh, material in there. Um, here's the basking dock if you're interested in purchasing one of those. Um, the only issue I've had is if you don't get a big enough one, they kind of just sink like that and the turtle has a hard time getting completely out. And the other one is this. Um, the only thing I'd worry about with this is if the turtles knock it over, try and go behind it, and um, possibly knocking this onto a tank mate and maybe even trapping and drowning it. So that's not good. Not to fret, we have conditioned the tank with some reptamin. Now let's go ahead and open these little packages here. All right, I have them all open. So let's take a look at the first one here. Don't bite me. And there she is. She is nice. She looks like she's in good shape. My quick inspection goes with the tail. I look at the hands. I look at the nostril. Make sure they're looking uh, clear. You don't want anything clogging up those nostrils. You look at the eyes. Make sure they're not poofy. Uh, and then I look at the shell. Uh, make sure there's no damage, fungus, anything like that going on. Um, and then I look at the bottom of the shell as well. And then I also look at the hind feet. And when the feet come out, I also like to look in that little cavity there because sometimes they'll have like a blister. But this one, she is passing the test. I'm going to go ahead and let her go here. Um, I'm just going to put her right into the water. I'm sure she'll make herself right at home. So these are albino red-eared sliders. Let's go check out another one here. So she is bigger. We're going to do the same thing. Eyes look good, nose look good, claws look good, feet, tail look good, the shell on the bottom looks good, and um, she looks good here. Uh, another thing I don't didn't mention is I also like to look at the full neck. Uh, we're not going to see that now, but just like this gal here, we'll see it once she's swimming, and it looks really good. So let's go ahead and get her her sister in there. These are all females. Oh look, she's going inside there. <laughs> and here is the other female. Again, we do a quick check and she's looking fantastic obviously. Um, bam. Wow, nails good, tail, shell. Everything's looking fantastic. I'm going to leave her right up here and see what she does. Well, I grab the next little gal out here. Uh, what is it? A big old pond we are setting up. Oh, look, this one. She's super. But look, you still see her nose. Uh, looks good. Claws looking good. See right here? This is. See that redness? So I'd have to keep an eye on that. That could have been from anything. Doesn't look like it's anything that won't heal. You can see the new growth marks right there. So she's growing really well. Um. The other thing uh, to look at when you're receiving turtles out of a package is to just look at the package in general. Um, so like the package looked good, the um, this little baggie that they came in, it looks, looks fine. Um, sometimes it can rough up their nose a little bit, but everything was intact so I think they're all all doing good, I just they just need to warm up a little bit. Let's see what else we have in here. She is in good shape too. Wonderful. And her nose is not even red. 
Her eyes are closed, but that's that's going to be fine. Definitely female. I don't see any injuries. Nice growth. Oh, you know what's really cool about the albinos? If you look carefully on the back, um, you see there's like this light yellow coloration and then like this, I don't know what you want to call it, like a peach color um, coloration right there in the center. Let me see if I can warm it and get it wet. Okay. Now, if you look and you see white lines, you can actually see the vertebrae. See, there's a verte vertebrae, there's a vertebrae, there's a vertebrae, and these white lines that come outside of them, you can, those are actually where the uh, ribs are attaching to the shell. Isn't that crazy? Like, you can actually see the vertebrae right there. So, anyways, uh, she's wet, so her eyes are open, and she is ready to take a dunk. Uh, albino redder sliders were actually the first turtles I ever uh, bred on my own. Um, I remember buying them on off a of king snake. Oh, I think oh see. So with her, you can see that the nose is a little irritated. I'm gonna watch that, but it's not bad at all. Uh, definitely patent, and she looks like she's also in very good shape, um, just like the rest of her sisters. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Take a closer look in a minute, but uh, let's see. But let me see if I can show you guys this basking area. So if she, she say she's climbing up here and she goes here. Oh, as you can see, she won't actually be all the way up the water, and this can barely hold one turtle. Uh, so you're going to need something a little bit more stable, um, something more stable. You know, this takes up a lot of the swim swimming real estate for the turtle, so I don't recommend that so much. But uh, um, but you're going to want something stable that they can come up with. You just want to make sure that they can't climb out because they can definitely climb. Oh, come on. And let's see the last one in here. I'll take a look at this last one and then watch these guys swim. <laughs> she fell in upside down. Uh, so again, all these bags are, are looking pretty good. You can see this one's a little bit red. Um, I think that's from, from her because uh, her nose was a little... A little reddened. Um, they can. It's pretty vascular their nose. And here's the last one. She's looking really good as well. I'm very happy. It's gonna be a very good group. Again, if you're um, buying any redder sliders in general, um, you probably want to adopt them. Um, there's tons that they actually put to sleep and or whatever um, at the local SPCA out here and uh, oh, I can't watch this oh look at oh my gosh just just pooped in the water I don't think your sisters are gonna like that very much um, so I recommend just adopting out I don't recommend breeding them there's just so many of them already um, if you're into like these albino ones um, then I'm gonna go ahead and go for it but I'm definitely going to try to stay away from anything that's already overpopulated and as an invasive species as well I would never let these go. I would always sell them or keep them for the rest of my life. I'm kind of vested. And, uh, and I know a lot of other people who would be glad to take these off my hands should anything happen to me. Look at this girl. She's still hiding in there. So all of these are roughly uh, three and a half to four inches, I want to say. Um, so at that size, if you watched my previous video, um, you'll know that... Um, Definitely, you can tell they're male or female at this size. Um, three and a half is a little early, um, but they're not showing any signs of being a male. And I got it from the breeder, and the breeders usually know what they're hatching. So I'll keep you updated on these guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on here. I'll try to make time to post these videos and bring you guys along, um, especially with the eggs hatching now. Got the first clutch just hatching. Um, I'm going to be coming up with a a video on that soon. Um, need to get some footage, need to get these guys squared away, um, but don't worry, I'll be capturing every beautiful moment, and uh, so will you guys. Stay strong, Shell Squad. Oh, looks like the hatching has begun. We've got to make a video on that soon.